In this lab demonstration, we will be creating a trail and then generating and viewing events through EC2 instances. So let's go on and implement that together. Okay, so let's take a look on how we should set up our trail within the cloud trail. As you can see, I am currently in the AWS management console. You can either search or click on the cloud trail here. And that will take us to the dashboard of the cloud trail service. So if we click on the dashboard from here, this is where you can add new trails and you can see all your existing trails that you have already configured. So for this demonstration, let's add a new trail. The first thing you need to do is to add a trail name. So let me label this as skill curb trail. Next, we're asked to create a new S3 bucket. So S3 bucket is the destination where our log files will be stored. So all the events that are captured related to API calls are recorded into logs. And then these logs are delivered to S3 bucket. So here we can either create a new S3 bucket or say no and select an existing bucket that we have. For this demonstration, I'm going to create a new bucket. CloudTrail will apply all the correct bucket policy permissions to allow the CloudTrail to deliver the logs to that bucket. So let's give this bucket a name. I'll just add SC at the beginning and keep the rest name same. Our next option is to encrypt the log files. By default, CloudTrail logs are stored on S3 with the server-side encryption, so it's automatically encrypted. However, if you want to add an additional layer of the encryption, you can say yes and select the use of KMS, which is the key management service. But for this demonstration, we will leave that as no. We will uncheck the log file validation as well and now scroll down and click on next. We will leave the default settings as is and click on create trail. And that's it. So to create your trail, it is just few options and configuration details that you need. So now I have selected all those and I'm going to click on create. And there you can see skill curve trail. And we have specified that it was all regions, gave it a bucket name. We haven't associated any CloudWatch logs yet. And logging status is still on. So although we have created this new trail, there are additional configuration options we can apply. But we can only do that once the trail is created. Here, we are just simply seeing our log files being generated. Now, we will select our trail. Here, we wait for at least five minutes for your last log file delivered to be updated. Refresh the page after every five minutes and you will be able to see your current date at time. There, we have today's date and time now. In the search bar at the top, enter S3. In the bucket table, click the name of your bucket and then AWS logs. Then further down, the organizational structure, which is basically the date. There, we have our log file created. Let's go on to our CloudTrail console and observe our event history. Here, we can see our cloud trail was created. We can go on and observe what is inside of this event, like the name of the trail, the bucket name, and the event source, etc. If we go back to our event history, we can view our other events here. Now let's go on and create an EC2 instance. Click on the search bar and type EC2. Click on launch instance. Here, select the first AMI. Next, leave the instance type to be default and click on Next. Leave the default settings as is and click on Next. We don't need to add any storage here because we are just creating a simple EC2 instance. So now click on Review and Launch. Click on Launch and for the key pair from the drop down menu, select Proceed without a key pair and check the acknowledgements box. Now launch the instance and wait for some time. We have created our EC2 instance. Click on view instance and wait for a while until the instance type is in the running stage. 
you can now see our instinct state is running. Now go back to Cloud Trail. We need to see our event history, if it has captured our event or not. It will take a few seconds to create a log file, so just wait for 5 minutes and keep refreshing your page. There, we can see our event as run instances. And that is how you can create your first trail and generate events, which is then viewed in the cloud trail.